Hi, and welcome to part three of the Maps I added for Excel video series. In this video, we will take a look at the map and data set options in the map site ribbon. So let's start with the map options. In this panel, we can set the map view start position by either entering new coordinates and adjusting the zoom value or by repositioning the interactive preview map below. So let's give that a go. So if I move map around, change the zoom level, maybe center on, UK and save that, show our map, we'll see now that the map is repositioned with the UK in the center. As I say, we can also adjust those values by inputting new latitude and longitudes. So we can find our lat longs on our sheet, grab this one and put it here and the longitude, and put that on there. And there we go, save that, show our map again. We'll see that it's repositioned our map according to the new latitude and longitude. So what else can we do in the map options? Well, we can change the menu items and features that get displayed within the map. So perhaps we just want the zoom in and zoom out buttons. We can simply deselect all the other options, hit save, show our map, and we'll see that we've only got our zoom in and zoom out. Our data layers are required because our map needs to know what data to show. Let's go back and put those features back in simply by heading back to the map options button, map menu, selecting all our features that we want. You can also hide the menu on load if we deselect that and save, go back to show our map, we'll see the map menu is closed rather than being automatically open. But there you go, all our features are back and usable again. Now, let's have a look at the data set options. So in this panel, we can manage our data set. We can rename them. We can delete them by hitting the dustbin. And we can also change the style of our pins by hitting the cog, cog button. So maybe we want blue pins and maybe we want to change the clusters to be blue as well so we simply come in here select blue go back to pin image and save our changes let's see how our map has changed as you see we now got blue clusters and blue pins now if we just want shapes and we don't want pins we can do that too again hitting the cog we just select pin shape and maybe we now want triangles and we want them to be yellow and we can go back simply save again show our map and we'll see we've now got triangles as clusters and as our locations that's it for part three thanks for watching